time is it? Yes, it is. It's movie review time. It's movie review time. Where y'all at? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Well, I got a movie review for y'all today. This weekend, I saw Dangle. Is that how you say it? D-A-N-G-A-L. Dangle. Apparently it means like, a, is it a slang word for like a wrestling ring or something like that? I'm going to tell you, I didn't know what it was about going in. I didn't know what it was about. I didn't know who was in it. And I have to begin by talking about one of the main actors, Amir Khan, that's in it. This is the first time I ever seen him in playing in any of these roles, in any of the roles. I look back at some of his past work. He's been in The Three Idiots, which is a movie I really want to see. And especially now that I saw him in this movie, because he is talented. The acting in this, and especially his acting, was phenomenal. I thought it was great. If y'all haven't seen it yet, you know it's it's about he was a he he was a based off a true story. Um, him and his daughters Gita and Babita, and he is an ex um, wrestler, ex wrestler in India. He made it all the way to like the nationals. But he didn't have like the support of his country in India. They didn't support that kind of stuff. He always wanted to get the gold in the Olympics for them and just never had to get a job and his, his start a family and all that stuff. Never had like the support to go on for the gold. But it was his dream. It was dream and he wanted to fulfill it and wanted to fulfill it, fulfill it in a son. He wanted to have a son to carry on the dream. And you see, then it shoots like his wife at the time. His wife's pregnant. He hopes for my son. Comes out, girl. Then as it gets a little bit of humor because even like the people in this town and, and friends and family start giving advice. Oh, you got to do this for a son. You got to do this. She's pregnant again, girl. Pregnant again, girl. Pregnant again, girl. <laughs> like he keeps having girls, no son to carry on it, out his dream, which he becomes like kind of just seemed like depressed about it, right? He wanted, this has been his dream and he wanted to carry it on in his sons. And he thought, you know, the dream was dead until, until the one day his daughters come home and they have like some neighbors there with their son that was all beaten up and they beat him up for messing with him. And he was like, who beat him up? And he was like, your girls did. And he, at first he was like, oh, don't do, you know, he has to reprimand him a little bit. But then he gets in his mind. He's like, I don't need a son. I can have daughters to carry on this dream. I can make them wrestlers. T talks his wife and like giving him a year to do it. They, he goes off and he's strict. He is strict with it, right? He is strict. He makes them get up at 5 a.m. He, you know, cuts their hair real short so that's not a distraction on a strict diet. Does all this stuff to make them the best wrestlers they can be. And like the movie, it gets kind of, you start to feel kind of sad for the girls, you know? I mean, they want to be girls and, and all this. And it's you don't really even turn around for them or you. You know, you're you're cheering on like the girls. You want to give them their life until one of the scenes is they attend this girl's like maybe wedding or like a promise to get married to someone, and you know they're complaining about the dad and they they wish they didn't have a dad like that and blah 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 blah. And the girl who's promised to get married says she wished she had a dad like that because where they are, you know, she talks about being a girl and, and you're born in, into the family and you're made to do chores and all this, but really it's like their purpose is to like find someone to marry off and get rid of you. And that's like your thing, you're, you're, you're bred to do the chores and stuff and then get married off. And she's like, and, it, and you don't have a choice. And she's like, at least now, like your father's giving you a choice. He's doing this to give you a choice in life and, and dreams and something to work for. So that, that, that right there like hit me number one as a girl i'm just like it hit me it's an emotional movie like this aspiring and and also like you can see on on the screen how it hit those girls and let me tell you not only was um amir is that how you say his name amir amir khan not only was his acting in this brilliant i thought that the two girls that play gita and um, babita were awesome not only in the emotional like part of the acting but also in their wrestling scenes 
even the young, from the young ones to when they got older, both both the actors that played both of them, I thought were brilliant. Um, so much so, like I thought, I was like, did they pick girls that already were wrestlers for this? It was a mixture of the acting and the cinematography. I can never say that right. Cinematography, the way things were shot, that you're like, you're into it. You're like, these girls are natural wrestlers. You know, you think you're watching these wrestling competitions. You think you're watching these wrestling competitions. That's how good it was. That's how good the acting was in there. But yeah, so I mean, the story goes on. You know, they're they they win the national. One of them wins the nationals, and she goes on and and. And and this is one thing you think. Um, when I when I first found out that like, it was a movie about wrestling, I was like, how many more movies do we need about like sports? There's so many movies out there about sports and this team, you know, coming from behind and winning. But after watching this, I'm like, we do need it. We need. I don't get tired of of a sports movie, but also they're motivational and they're inspirational. And this one was was up there. This one was up there on the top of one of the most uh, inspirational and motivational type sports movies. I loved it. I loved it. It not only taught a good message and, and made it inspirational, but I thought the acting was great. I thought the cinematography was great. I enjoyed it thoroughly, thoroughly. So much so, like I, at the end, I was in tears. Not sad tears, but just tears of uh, in, inspirational tears. You know, one of those, like you watch this movie and where they come from and the things they achieve in life and you're just motivated and inspired. And I was in tears and my husband was watching it with me. He came in the movie about halfway through. I explained what was happening. He finished watching it and I look over at the end and I'm in tears and I see tears in his eyes. I look, I said, are you, are you tearing up? He's like, no, no. I was like, you're tearing up. And he's just laughing and stuff. So that's how much, like how good this movie is. Like it was even not only making me tear up, which is not hard to do sometimes, but making my husband tear up. Phenomenal movie. Phenomenal. I highly encourage you watching it. And as someone who's not, you know, a native to the language this movie is in, I watched it you know, reading the subtitles, it was not hard to follow. It was not boring. They didn't have slow parts because these kind of movies that are very, you know, Bollywood, Tollywood, all these movies are much longer than we're used to in Hollywood. Hollywood, you know, if you go over two hours in a movie, then that's just crazy, like unheard of. But these these movies in Bollywood, the Tollywood in, in India are known for being long. And you worry about it having slow parts. This did not. It seemed like the time just flew by. I was into it the whole time. And that's what I said, as as it not being in my native language, it was not hard to follow along with. I I felt like it was very easy to follow along. I, I didn't have any parts that really confused me or anything like that. So yeah, I give it a 4.5 out of five. I enjoyed it very much. I will watch it again. And I'm definitely gonna watch that Three Idiots because I am now uh, Amir, am I saying it right? Amir Khan, did I say that? I'm, very, I'm a very big fan of his now. Cause that's how well I think he did in this movie. All right, y'all, that's my movie review. Until next time, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, thumbs, comments. Follow me on my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y, Amanda. Same on Twitter. Bye, y'all.